Hey there, I'm Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio and today I'm going to show you how to take some metallic foils and upcycle a pair of old jeans. Well, I'm sure you're like me and you have a few extra pair of jeans hanging in your closet that you don't really wear anymore, but you don't wanna get rid of them either. So today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to spiff them up, okay? Add a little bling uh, with some beautiful metallic silver foil and make them something you wanna wear again. Uh, to start with, we are going to be using our Transfer Gel Duo. And this is actually designed to work on fabric, okay? So you don't have to worry about washing anything because this is designed to work on fabric and you'll be able to wash. Uh, let's see if we have everything here. Oh, sometimes those lids can be challenging to open. I cleaned my table off so well now that I don't have anything within reach, okay? So give me a second here. And we're gonna grab a couple of different size brushes. Okay, actually, I think I'm gonna mainly use this one. I know it's smaller, my jeans are quite large, but I'm only wanting to accent a little bit here and there. Um, okay, I'm gonna work on this jar first because this one is almost empty. Uh, and just to give you guys a little guidance, this is a four ounce jar. You'll find this product on our website. And I'm gonna say it's gonna depend on uh, the amount of foil that you tr choose to transfer for your project. But I think you're gonna get at least uh, three pairs of jeans, maybe more. My style might be different than your style. You might want to foil the entire leg. You might want to, you know, do front and back. So it will kind of depend on what you intend or end up doing. But I think you're gonna get at least three, three pairs, maybe four out of a jar. A little bit about this product. It is called, I'm gonna say it one more time. It's our Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo and it allows us to transfer with and without heat, which is kind of cool because we can iron on our foils or we can also even scrub. Okay, one thing I really didn't think about when I was gonna start this project is how dang hard is it gonna be for you guys to see where I'm putting that? Okay, this is white on white right now. Okay, so you're probably not gonna see too much of what I'm doing until I get to the transferring part. Okay, so let's hope that this is still really cool for you to watch. Um, I'm gonna do random application and I'm trying to create areas that I think will be cool for the fabric to attach to. And I'd rather do less than do too much to start with because I can always come back and add more, but removing it is gonna be a whole different story. Okay, I'm just trying to straighten up my jean here a little bit. So kind of think about where you might want uh, a little bit of foil. And also when you are applying this, it is going to look white. <laughs> white on white. Right now it just kind of looks uh, wet in those areas that I have applied it. Working on a pair of denim jeans is actually um, blue denim, I should say, because these are a white denim. It's a little bit easier to see, but any place that you apply the deco foil heavier, thicker, um, you're going to get more transfer of the metallic foil. Uh, if you apply it lightly and just barely brush it on, you might just get a tiny bit of transfer in those areas. So again, um, I rather just put on a little bit less to start and 
transfer and then if I decide, oh Jim, that just was not enough, um, I can always come back and add more. And that's the beauty of a lot of the stuff we do is we can always come back and add more. Now, as long as these are, I'm going to think that I'm probably me and my style, okay? I'm probably going to cuff these. So I'm going to take that into consideration as I'm uh, figuring out where else I want to put this. And I'm hoping you can at least see that it's kind of shiny as um, it's going on. Now, with doing such a random, sparse application, uh, you would be able to get way more than three pairs of jeans out of this. If you do really, really heavy coverage and you decide to like foil um, almost the entire leg, it will be down to about maybe three sets of jeans. Sets, I guess just three pairs, they're not sets. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna continue to just brush this on anywhere where I feel like want to see that metallic foil. Again, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a stopping point, keeping these cuffed so I know where I wanna take the foil down to. Okay, so definitely working white on white is a little bit more challenging with this particular project because I'm sure it is hard for you to see where I have applied it. Hopefully you can see that it just looks a little shiny in those spots and areas. I'm just gonna use up what I put out here on my plate and add a little bit more, a little bit more of the adhesive here and there. Okay, so I have my adhesive down and you can actually allow this to completely dry where when it dries, it will clear out and not look white, but just look clear. Again, that's gonna be probably a little tricky on these jeans. So what I think I'm gonna do is let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. It doesn't have to be completely dry when you go to iron on. And that's again, part of the duo, okay? So we can transfer with and without heat. So either scrubbing or an iron, and we can also transfer with and without it completely dry. So we can allow this to dry for a full hour and have it completely dry and transfer, or even wait 15, 20 minutes and transfer when it's kind of wet. So we're gonna take a quick little break and we'll be back. I've allowed the jeans to dry for about 20, 25 minutes. And I'm sure hoping this part of the video is gonna be way more exciting for you guys. When you look up close, you'll be able to tell where it is. It's gonna be a little bit of a shiny or just feel even a little tacky as well. So I think I'm ready to go. There are some areas that are probably still a little bit wet, but we're good. So I am going to just use a regular iron. You can also use a little mini press. I'm on medium heat. And if you're not sure how hot your iron gets, then I would suggest grabbing a piece of parchment paper and you can lay the parchment paper over the foil before you transfer, just in case your iron gets hotter than the average or at least hotter than mine. So I cut some strips of our bright silver foil, which I thought the bright silver would look so cool on the jeans. And I'm just gonna cover the areas that I believe <laughs> I put the adhesive. And we have all kinds of stitching, okay? Uh, I'm noticing I got some some buttons back here. So I'm gonna kind of move the pocket around so I can get that button out of the way because it's preventing me from being able to 
iron right there. The other thing you can do, and I've done this before as well, is um, put a piece of wood or cardboard in there to give yourself a little bit more of a flat surface to be able to work on. You will also start to see where the foil is attaching to the actual pocket, okay? So anywhere there was adhesive in those areas, you should have, you should be able to see that it's going to stick to it in those areas. So I'm gonna grab another piece as we work down the leg. And now I know how challenging that pocket is when you got big buttons on the back side. And just continue to iron. Now, I don't like to let my iron sit for any length of time. I like to just kind of keep moving the iron. Um, that way I don't scorch something. And I'm hoping that gets all the way, okay. So I try to keep the iron moving at all times. And I do like to iron for oh, maybe 30 to 60 seconds. Okay, I think I'm gonna uncuff these a little bit because if they might lay flatter, and that way I can also feel how far down I applied the adhesive and iron our last section here. And I'm just ironing over the whole leg area, not trying to figure out and determine where that adhesive was first. You can definitely do that. Um, and that way you're only positioning where you believe it is, okay, or where you know it is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a few more pieces here so we can finish out this other leg. And I was just trying to cut them probably about eight inches wide. So that'll cover the front part of where you're gonna work. Okay, we're out of on that roll, so we have another roll that we can start with here. But about somewhere between six to eight inches, depending on what part of the leg you're working on. Um, so you need probably, well actually, you could probably do this with about a foot if you're being as random. You'll just have to reposition um, the foil uh, and reuse it in all the different areas. Now, if you have about three feet, you should probably be able to do the whole front at once like I am. Because one of the tricky parts, oops, here we are to the tricky part again. Uh, we gotta get off of that, that button. Boy, those are big. Doesn't seem big until you're ready to do something and you can't iron over that area, okay? So this is gonna get a little trickier up here in front, but let's see if I can get this to iron on to all the areas that I know I put our foil adhesive down. And once you get past that pocket area, It'll be easier as you get down the leg. Okay, I found another area that I just wanna make sure that I have the foil stuck to. And then we'll keep working down this leg. Okay, the tricky part about just using one piece of foil, even though one piece could possibly do the whole jean, is you have to wait for the foil to cool off. So you're just gonna to have to be patient from section to section. So if I wanted to do this with just one sheet, because there's probably an, enough foil to cover all those little spots that I created, um, I would have to iron it like I'm doing right now, let this piece completely cool off, and then move to the next section of the jean. So it would just take you a little bit longer, but you can definitely do it with less foil. Um, if you are foiling the entire area of the jean, you're gonna be losing 
almost all your metallization, so you would definitely need a fresh piece for each section as you come down your leg. So depending on the style, the amount of adhesive that you apply will predict how much foil you probably need to start with. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, say this again. Foils are a cold release, okay? So you need to make sure they're completely cooled off once you are done ironing on the foil. Don't wanna cool it off fast, so don't go and try and take it into the refrigerator or the freezer and try to cool things off really, really super quick. Uh, you just have to let it cool on its own and normally within a couple minutes, okay, or just even fanning it so you can release the heat underneath, it's gonna cool off that quickly. So once it's cooled off, you get to do what we call the peel and reveal and see what all you have done. Now, if you feel there's more foil or more, um, more adhesive in some areas and you want to try and transfer a little bit more, because remember my, that button was really in my way, I can also come back and scrub, and I'm just using a stir stick and see if you can get a little bit more transfer in a few of those areas. Because remember, at the beginning, I was talking about how the Duo Transfer Gel would work with and without heat. So this is part of it, okay? I like the way it transfers because I feel like I get a more um, fuller transfer when I'm using the iron, but I can also come back and scrub on those randomly too and see if I can get a little bit more transfer. But look how cool this is, okay? Oh my gosh, how fun are these gonna be? Talk about being the talk of the town. Um, everybody's gonna wanna know where you got those fancy, fancy jeans. So, so cool. That is just fun. Absolutely fun. Okay, let's see how cool our other side is so we can do a full reveal here. Okay, they seem to be cooling off pretty quickly. And again, I just know some of the places that I had added a little bit more of the adhesive. So, I'm just going to go back and again, scrub a little bit more in those areas. Like I said, any place where you have the adhesive on thicker or heavier, you're also gonna have your foil transfer um, more dominating in those areas, okay? So you're gonna get a full, more full, complete transfer. If you were light-handed, you're gonna get some of these really, really soft areas that's kind of like background background foil, okay? You have some light areas and some real, real um, dominating areas of where it was thicker. And oh my gosh, you guys, I am in love with this, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit more there maybe. Woo, okay, so let's turn these around so that you can see them. And remember, you're gonna be the artist and determine how much of the foil you actually want on the jeans or how little amount. I was just doing random looking distressed application. Um, you can do full coverage. Once these have been transferred, there's nothing you have to do to seal them. We have been working with our Duo, Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo, which is fabric friendly. We're also been working with textile foil, so our bright silver is also a fabric friendly foil. And all you have to do is wash them in cold water. Um, if you want them to stay looking the absolute best, I would recommend turning them inside out, use delicate cycle, and line dry. They are not recommended to go in the dryer at all, but that will keep them looking 
new, fresh, and you will definitely be styling in these. You will find all of the products links in the description below and do us a big, big favor. Hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you so much for joining us today.